Five, three, four. Five, three, four. We were EOT. Have a good night. Hey, welcome back, back seaters. Uh, sorry we're late. We had a couple things we were working on that. Um, weren't really on the street when it just bored you to death so we're done with those now I would say the last week has been the busiest in terms of stolen cars roaming around the busiest that I can remember Pat by far since maybe the carjacking spree the first six months but uh, in terms of the bra daytime daytime brazenness of uh, stolen cars rolling around and yes, Pat is okay. Pat's here. Yeah, Pat's here. He did, he did ask truck. me if he could borrow some laundry detergent, you know. But <laughs> outside of that, he's good. <laughs> no, seriously, Pat, Pat loves being in the middle of the mix. That's what he was known for at the St. Paul Police Department. So, always finding his way into the middle. So... He's he's doing fine, aren't you, Pat? Oh yeah, I'm doing fine. This is this is this is my world. Yeah. It's been my world since I was 20 years old. So, but thank you, uh, thank you for all of the messages asking if I was okay, all the comments during the live. Uh, I am fine. My Chevy Traverse, not so fine. <laughs> Yeah, you got rammed a few times, but uh, the other thing about the live on patrol that day, you got to see uh, Deputy Kill and Deputy Siegelstrom in action. They did uh, a fantastic pit maneuver on the freeway on them. Yeah. But like I told him, I softened the car up for him first. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and uh, if in case you're wondering, there was there turned out there was no child in the car, and actually they confirmed that by pulling alongside of it. They could see into it that there was just a car seat, no child. Yeah, they initially thought because of the child Maybe. seat that there might be a child in there. So before performing the pit maneuver, they confirmed that uh, there was not. And uh, they did a great job. So that was busy day that day. Yesterday and today were busy. I mean, the cat team, to be honest with you, they did an amazing job corralling stolens. I mean, we it's tough when the helicopter's not available, you know, but when the helicopter's available, like today, if you look at that video we posted earlier there, the CAD team helped that lady jumped off the bridge. I think she might have broke her leg. That's what I heard. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, you got to be pretty desperate to jump off a freeway bridge to get away, man. Yes, you do. That's that's insanity. I mean, I don't think it was that far, but what anything over ten feet is leg breakable. Mm -hmm. So, fortunately for her, there's nowhere to run there. For crying out loud, you got a helicopter on you. Squads all over since Egan. They're everywhere. She launched herself over that wall and dropped thirty feet. Was it thirty? Wasn't it on the grass though? On the grass. On the grass. Yeah. But thirty feet is that's quite a ways and no the gun the gun in that incident was not pointed at me 
Uh, it was pulled by the suspect, but he did not point it at me, fortunately. Two serious guns recovered, though. The one had a switch, which That's makes it automatic, and a thumb magazine. Yep, and that the was the one he had that he pulled. Yeah, and the other was uh, like a Mac 10 small Uzi. She didn't like the sidewalk. I guess not. Yeah, they uh, the pistol that uh, the one suspect started to pull uh, was witness being thrown out of the car at Lexington in 94. And then the, the MAC-10 was recovered uh, by in the uh, mortuary by the grass or plantings in front of the mortuary. Yeah, and, and uh, those guys are persons of interest in a homicide. Yes, they are. We won't mention too much more detail, but definitely persons of interest in a recent homicide. Here, four, nine, three, two, and, uh, you know, it's always, it's, the dots always end up tying together somewhere. Very true. So, yeah, the, go ahead. Well, the week started off, the, the, the one I remember kind of kicking off the week was that Ford Raptor pickup yep. truck from the Superstore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't like to bring up the ones where we didn't catch the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, but we got a, a $70,000 truck back for him. Yeah. But remember what I said? Crime's only going to stop when we actually arrest people. This is true. This is true. The owner was happy. Bravo. I bet. About getting the truck back. In fact, there was a post on Facebook and Excuse me. from the dealership, and they mentioned if you saw, they thanked us, but then they said we got it back without any damage. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> There's good and bad to everything. Now, speaking of stolens, we got a couple of fresh ones for you guys to keep keep an eye out for. Before you get into the fresh ones, we've been this week. We started. Uh, you know how Kias and Hondas are always the most popular, but these since school got out, these kids are stealing higher-end cars. Yep. So we had a couple Audis. A couple uh, Audis, a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Jeep Grand Cherokee. So it's not just Kias and Hondas, it's reckless drivers. And we need your help. Honestly, if we're going to catch these guys, when you see reckless driving, call 91, report it. Tell them, Sheriff Bob said to call when I see this type of driving. Pat, you posted a video from social media about downtown, huh? Yes. Where they, where they were driving like maniacs down there. Absolutely. Which yeah, street was that on, you know? I, you know, I think it was 5th in Minnesota, but I'm not, I, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, there was... Uh, some young people in a Kia Soul driving just insanely back and forth, drifting, squealing the tires. And at the very end of the video, another young man on the sidewalk pulls a pistol and opens fire on him. Oh, I didn't know that part. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, the kid in the white hoodie pulls a pistol and starts shooting at the Kia. Which makes me think perhaps it was a taunting the opposition Very interesting. maneuver. Probably was. Anyhow, go ahead to the stolens that we have that are out. We need help with. We got uh, this one uh, rammed an Egan squad car earlier tonight. It was stolen, I believe, from Minnetonka. That's not the one that I got caught. What's that? That's not the one that got caught. That one that got caught. No. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. No, he, I'm sorry. I yeah, I got that confused. That was the one that got caught in the video. There was a, a pursuit up Highway 61, and they lost. They terminated the pursuit at 61 and Warner Road. We're looking for a maroon 2015 Ford Taurus with the plate HZB258, like Henry Zebra Boy 258, a maroon 2015 Taurus. And just a block over from us here, in the 1300 block of Sherburn, that's that's the taillights we're going to be looking for on the one that was just stolen, the Jeep Renegade. Okay. But that's not it. Okay. 
uh, we're looking for a 2017 Jeep Renegade, which is a uh, small, probably the smallest of the Jeep SUVs. Uh, Paul David Nancy 756, PDN 756. So we are using our booster. Pat and I are the only one that have a mounted booster here. But I saw a lot of you were asking. If Sorry about that. 2025 M23, 301 bridge. They're talking about. 30 some jump around 35. Mm. If you want to pull it up on the kid. But. Uh, Anyhow, this, I know a lot of you were said even though you enjoyed the pit maneuver, you were concerned about uh, not being able to um, what enjoy it because of some of the buffering. So eventually, we'll get boosters in all the cars that are going to transport. Mighty Mike. Yeah, 35 in Cayuga. Okay, where'd it go? That's the same place the girl jumped. Yep. Maybe there's a relative. Maybe somebody wants to test it out to see how high it is. They're probably out there looking, actually. Someone's knowing that they, they, we got called in on a jumper. Someone's probably looking to see. Yeah, oh. that could be. Uh, there was a male climbing the bridge there, white male in his 30s, dark navy hooded sweatshirt and jeans, medium build, bald. But yeah, that incident where they, uh, the kid pulled the gun. 40 years of being on this job tells us that uh, the details of the call and putting pieces together, these guys were from Minneapolis. And uh, it appears they were here to shoot someone. There were two of them walking up the street with their hands on guns in their waistbands under their hoodies with a car slowly following behind them. So I think they were looking for something. Yeah, no doubt. We know from their some of their past activity that that's a strong possibility. Mm -hmm. And the, then yesterday, regarding Bob talking about, we need your help calling in when you see these reckless drivers. I just drove uh, 35 south over Cayuga, and I didn't see him up on top of the bridge either. Um, yesterday, we Happy had reports. Of this white Jeep Grand Cherokee, which was a confirmed stolen, and a black or very, very dark blue Audi Q7, which is the large, one of the larger Audi SUVs, driving recklessly in different parts of town. And uh, Bob actually spotted them, uh, still riding together westbound on Case from Arcade. They split up, and uh, Bob was trying to stay on the Jeep and I spotted the Audi turn up Greenbrier from Case and started paralleling it along Payne Avenue you know I could I could catch up to each intersection and see it continuing northbound well about four blocks later the Jeep turned in front of me there you have it and uh, since that was the one we knew was a stolen at the time uh, that's the one I tried to stay with yeah, and you did an amazing job staying with it and and we were able to get our whole cat team and some of the apprehension team out there and finally uh, of course it's best if we can be there right when they're bailing and that was pretty much what happened and uh, so one of our squads saw him in the car and some citizens helped us with the direction and they bailed and we arrested the driver yes so. indeed so then today you got the Audi though, right? 
Yep, the Audi uh, St. Paul gang unit spotted the Audi. And uh, it drove through a yard to get away. Drove through a yard to get away to get around some stop sticks. And uh, now, get this, folks. It then went west on Magnolia and ran the stop sign without slowing a bit at Arcade, which is a major street. For those of you who are not familiar here, Arcade is a very major street. Magnolia is a residential street, cross street that goes across Arcade. Ran the stop sign. It. I would. Est I was behind it. I would estimate about 70 miles an hour. Not slowing at all. It is a miracle there was not a car in the intersection that they hit, which would have killed the people in that car and very likely themselves. And it... Uh, yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I mean, uh, and we also get notified of everything going on in Minneapolis. Today there was a couple carjackings in Minneapolis. It's, this is as bad as it's been right now this week yep. in terms of the brazenness. And, you know, we're on it pretty well over here. I guess it's got to be we're on it. But Minneapolis is shorter handed, especially during the day. You know, they got special details out at night. But we, I guess the only way we're going to survive it is if, if the citizenry really calls in all this stuff because that's the only way we know where the heck these cars are. And related to that. Uh, on Tuesday in Golden Valley, a woman in her 80s yep. was uh, working, was watering her lawn around noon in Golden Valley when five young men stopped in front of her house and prevented her from trying to close her garage door. They demanded her car keys. They pushed her to the ground. The woman started screaming, and they took off. They took off on foot and ran. And they broke her arm. An 80-some-year-old woman. These five juveniles broke her arm. Well, and we've had similar circumstances happening down in Highland Park, too. Where, um, in fact, the frequency of stolen cars and suspicious cars, people breaking into cars last night down on uh, Palace, Hartford, down there out between Jefferson and Randolph. I've been trying to work a little bit later, a few hours later, just for help out the afternoon cat team. I know you, Pat's out there in the days a lot. It sounds like um, we're not seeing him at all. I'm out there a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and close this out, GOA. It's a good combination, though, that we can kind of keep tabs on everything that goes on. Yep, definitely. Hey, if you haven't shared this yet, or liked it, appreciate it if you did that, but uh, we're trying to get our Facebook, our Facebook followers up to 100,000. You know what, we're almost there. To 97,000. And what, and what's the, 97,000 what? It doesn't say. I think we're close, we're getting close to 98,000. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. You guys are gonna help us design a certificate. I've been sending uh, ideas ideas up to uh, Kyle. Ninety-seven thousand from people. Ninety-seven thousand five hundred. Typically at you know five hundred a month, maybe a week. I mean five hundred a week, four hundred lately. But anything you can do to help us get to that hundred thousand mark, that'd be great. University Avenue for those of you that just joined us as a result of a share. Roll. Actually live on patrol. I was gonna say on patrol. I probably have a copyright. <laughs> Pat, up there. It was just the the cat team 
investigators and deputy. are just doing an amazing job. pepper spray ready because I I anticipated he was going to run but I had not seen a uh, I had not seen a gun at the time so he started running and by the time I saw the gun it was too late to you know easily transition to grabbing my gun so I just blasted him with a burst of pepper spray but he was able to get in the car that had been following them, as was the other guy who was out of the car, and uh, as they took off, there was a St. Paul car coming up behind them, I tried to block them from the front, and they proceeded to ram me, and then as we rounded the corner onto University, they went nearly a block, smacking into the passenger side of my squad car with their vehicle. You know what, I just gotta say, that reminds me of this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Area check 200 East 10th Street for Mario. Jesus. I knew that, but I didn't remember where from. <laughs> I haven't seen the actual Mario Brothers movie, but I want to see it. I might just rent it. But, uh. Last one. Luigi and Mario. Luigi and Mario. What was that, Bowser or was the bad guy? Oh gosh, I don't Bowser. Know. Somebody said I know today you should Two start seven, throwing nine. banana peels out. That's what that's what they do in the video game. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. A banana peel launcher. Yeah, I like it. Hey, be sure you tell new uh, watchers that uh, who we are. My name is Bob Fletcher. I have the pleasure of serving as the sheriff in Ramsey County. With me is Patrick Scott, Deputy Patrick Scott. Both of us worked for the St. Paul Police Department since late 70s, early 80s. And uh, now we're with the sheriff's office. Thank you for joining us. Our air is not perfectly clear. We do have smoke from the from the forest fires in Ontario. It has been really bad this week, folks. Yeah. So if you get a little, if the picture isn't perfect, it's all about smoke. So Pat was thinking, since the smoke is in the air anyhow, he was going to take up smoking for live on patrol. So <laughs> You know, funny you mention that. They say that the air quality is such yeah. that being out in it is the equivalent of smoking three to five cigarettes a day. Really? So, yep. I didn't know that. No wonder my energy level was reduced. Wow, my breathing's been a little labored this week. I mean, isn't that something? I quit smoking my last puff on January 31st. And now it's like I'm smoking three to five cigarettes a day again. Thanks, Canada. There you go. Well, they should be making a movie about it. Canada invades the United States with smoke. <laughs> There's probably a, a secret weather balloon in there, too. Well, I'll tell you, though, did you see the, the last week? Did you see the smoke in Do New York? Do me a favor, take a right here. I'm not sure if he ran the red light or not. It looked like he was moving along. Did you see the whip. smoke in uh, New York? No. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable. you got to see the video. Where am I going? Ah, he's not going that fast. The I... smoke in New York was thick red smog. Worst hmm. ever. Worse than... Uh, Oh, there was one day they said it was absolutely the worst in the world. That was a day worse than New Delhi, where they have all the no emissions control. I don't know if it's New Delhi or Delhi, but India. That's how bad it was.
was just kidding, by the way. No, I am not going back to smoking. There is absolutely nothing in the world that would make me start smoking again. So worry not, folks. Channel 3. You got it You got it here at 3. You got it I'll just run over here. Um, oh, I have to follow you. Well, that's all right. I just thought it was going to go over here. The, uh, I believe him, folks. I believe him. That he's not going to smoke. Absolutely. I would know if he was. Because I can smell it. Yes, you could. He, he hasn't. I like keeping that new car smell in my in my yeah. new my new Kia. I can tell him Pat's line. If he tells us he's gonna give up drinking at the Sherwood, I'm gonna I'm not gonna buy that one. <laughs> that would be a lie. Yeah. Sheriff, I was probably able to break to assist medics at Marshall and Snelling on the median for a party slumped over. Has blood on him. 166, clear advice. I'll go. Oh, and deputies, uh, remember whether it was Monday or Tuesday? Uh, Class run of tire. A, uh, it was a, a Lexus, I believe, that had been carjacked in West St. Paul the night before. Well, was tracked by the owner to the Walmart up on County Road E. And uh, deputies uh, spotted the people getting back in it and successfully blocked it in and took them all into custody. Yep. Great job there. Great work. QA with 276. We jump back on the LR. A lot of newer cars now the owners can track. It's a big helpful tool for us. Mm -hmm. Bad guys aren't always sure six, six, one. which ones they can, which ones they can. Three six one. We're not always sure, but we always find out. Clear report. Definitely. And you can also clear that DOC on LARP. It's GOA. So as you know, whenever we work, it seems like there's less crime. I mean, I don't know how there is, how, at least less stolen is driving around. And uh, we'll see if that happens again tonight. But when they don't know if we're out there, they seem to be a lot more active during the daytime. It's about 260. 260. So this is 273 at Bethesda 559 Capitol Boulevard for parties in the building, either on the fifth or sixth floor. <laughs> I thought there was somebody hanging out the window of that okay. car there that yeah. came around the corner. Yeah. It was a dog. <laughs> 200 was calling it in. Good thing it didn't have a board. party that lives at 590 Park. <laughs> There's some gun. Right, if they're inside the building, we're not going in. Copy. 273, copy. I'm just going to do a area check. Oh, Happy. ho, ho, ho. Happy. Wait, so what night we're going to do, when it's really hot out, we're going to do a special on homelessness. We're going to pull up and talk to all the people that are homeless. A lot of them are suffering from mental illness. There's a guy in the corner there. We're just passing. Him. And, but I think it's important for the public to know what what's happening and we're talking about like at midnight where a lot of people don't want to go to shelter uh, I mentioned before it's amazing the number of people carrying suitcases pulling suitcases that's probably me knocking on their door and just mom yelling at the son for leaving her car running it's now stolen so I'll take care of that after you're on I'm out there. There's going on with shots fired. I can let you know. Thank you, thank you. Mighty Mike. You got it? I'm looking for the crash. All the shots. Well, I got extra radios. Uh, I got it. I'm just using the crash. Yeah, so just north of the intersection. Yeah, did you see him? 
Code 4, the rails can clear. Uh, it's red hair guy. He's all good. You're on LTEC 2. Okay. Come here, anybody now. I'm going to leave this one on LTEC 1. MPD, do you have a dog on? Need another officer here to clear with me. Uh, suspect vehicle, all bears deployed. 673, 34 Dunwoody. Okay, over by Dunwoody. I gotta put this back. In Minneapolis, did anyone copy yeah, for a canine request? Leave it on this? No, I'll leave it on yours on three, and then I'll put these on one and two back here. These are Go ahead. spares. All the doors and windows are secured. The alarm shut down. You can clear this whole farm. Okay. I'll take one and two if case something comes up. And one for me. You can cancel medics as well. We think it's by Minneapolis over there. Yeah. Two seven three, you can cancel Hey, we're still looking for that other Audi though, right? The Monarch? Yes. You didn't mention that one, but you're gonna throw that throw, throw that one out there for him too, because that's that was stolen at the same time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Looks like a single occupant driver. Bravo five eight six U. Have a good night, you got any scripture on the driver other than that race Monarch one, right? M O N Yeah. I think it's M O N. It is M O N. R C H and then the number one, so it's like Monarch Butterfly with the A missing. And that one is blue, yep. right? The 20, other one was said it was blue, it was really black. But a 2013 Q5, which is like their medium-sized SUV. And these were that was stolen at the same time in the same city. Yeah, same driveway. Same driveway. Yeah. Yep. It just tells you. How brazen these guys are. Of course, they drove there in another stolen. Yep. Our friend Sarah sent that picture from New York. Yeah, that's... that's Unbelievable. That's some bad air. Minneapolis, are you code bar in your parking lot? That's some bad air. The crash location is cold for right now. 8190. Go ahead. You change it to fireworks and put me out at 1150. Quick mail. Black mail. Black mail. Walk in the room and like fire a gun with blanks. Well, we didn't have that, oh, okay. gun, but uh, I don't remember what he did. But but uh, something, some he took a purse or grabbed somebody's purse that was there at the desk, you know, and then walked out. And you, in your case, they might have fired blanks. Although I'm surprised they did that because they frowned up, frowned on using blanks after. Beeson and I were training FTOs in with front blanks. <laughs> Do you remember that at all? <laughs> yeah, I vaguely. Oh, jeez. 
Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we thought it would be helpful to do some practice felony car stops with blank rounds. Mike Beeson and I, when we were FTO, and so we, we were each on an FTO, so we went out there by the old Midway Stadium, and we said, okay, you guys are going to practice your felony car stop on us. Chicago Citizen 200, a copy of one color ash shots fired, 100 California, reporting 10 shots, possibly in the parking lot. Huh? Anyhow, we thought we were in a kind of remote area where nobody would notice, but... Turned out there were a few calls. <laughs> we, thought the, we thought the realism of the sound would, you know, I mean, obviously it does help, right? Right. The realism. <laughs> Captain Gray, I think that was that funny. <laughs> Young man. <laughs> But there was no rule against it back then. That's why I was surprised if they fired blanks in your training room. <laughs> Anyhow, here's my point where I was going with this. So you get the, the guy walks in, he steals a purse, he walks out, and then you're all asked to write a description of the guy, right? And you know what? I'm a I'm a 21, 22 year old young guy, and. I, I'm okay. I mean, Let's I, go up to Wheelock. Yeah. See if they want to jump on our car. I can give a description. But I remember, you know why you do stupid things? Mm -hmm. I remember at the end of my description writing good looking. <laughs> 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 I think it was Danaski or something. When Danaski, when he was younger. That's funny. Uh, good looking. And I thought, you know, in retrospect, that's not a very objective term, right? <laughs> Good looking. What the hell? That's funny, though. Yeah. It's funny how you remember stuff like that when you I remember periodically, you know, when we had to do the accident reports by hand. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah. Drawing a random bird. You know, <laughs> on the sidelines or... Yeah. Or a cat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we like and is it was right west. It was west Bravo from East Shore Drive. So we Mike should go from Bravo two zero four. Uh, you pulled up this area. On a, uh, yeah, investigation. it was right at East Shore right Drive and Wheelock, but they were go walking west. Have you seen anybody? Well, who knows how long the delay was. Let's go into the park here. Sure. So we are in Phelan Park. One of my favorite parks, actually. I used to run with my daughter over here. Some great memories. On my call, we're currently on Maryland and Spring, oh. waiting at a bus stop for the bus. There you go. Okay. So they moved from. I copy Maryland and Frank. Mm -hmm. 312, do you copy? Are they still there? Yeah, he's got them there now. 312, I copy. Yeah. I like to know who they are. That's the thing is, you know, it doesn't seem like a huge issue, but it's good for us to know who the kids are that are jumping on other people's cars. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're jumping on moving ones probably here at this location. By the way, there's another thing I want to talk about. And that is the trend in people stealing from Walgreens Walmart, any store. Somehow we gotta we gotta turn the tide on this. Yep. Is that one of ours? No. No. Maybe it is one of ours. Let's see what we got here. Oh, everything's okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no problem. So, um, well, let's go down here and check. Then I want to talk about 
thefts from stores, which is skyrocketing yeah. all around the country. And we do not, we do not want that to happen here in the Twin Cities. So Myself and Mark can serve for back out on We're going to have to stand up to shoplifters. As do the corporate heads of some of the businesses. They can't accept it as well, a part of doing business. It's going to put everybody out of business. Hey, did you read a story today in the paper about... Have you spoken to people in the area? Shooting those fireworks? Minneapolis, 30% vacancy rate? No. Downtown? Yeah, downtown. Is the bus having a problem with him? Case number 105. Is there a squad here or not? Is it your call? Up there? I'd like to identify him anyhow. At the next intersection. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Is he having a problem right here with his passengers? I don't know. I don't know. Or is, is he just waiting? He hasn't moved for like 15 no, minutes. No, but there's another bus stopped here in Frank. Well, we can sure run in there and ask. I don't see any problem there. Not that I'm aware of. Big point. Yeah, they did. What? There's transit app going on these side. Well, tell us, Sean, they're probably at the bus. But we're on. It's related to that. Yeah, they just pulled up at uh, Maryland and Duluth to a bus here that has a. a Pretty full load of kids. Yeah, let's go check it out. Fire, 1076 Edmond reporting one shot less than a minute ago. So, like the ambulance camera's job, the crash on camera. You done with that? Oh, yeah. Two hundred, do you copy? Copy, switching the call to fireworks at twenty twenty. Eight ten. Eight ten. Send me that shot fired on in me. Copy. Can you do a call back and let the comp know I am on this the, the bunch, ambulance uh, SG. side? They're not answering the door again. Copy. 
Campbell, Ace Sean Campbell is here. On the verge of retirement. Let's not talk about it. There's something wrong about that. He's way too young. Am I good? Am I good? Yeah, do lights. Do lights, though. I got lights. Oh, okay. I got lights, but we're gonna, we're gonna lead the bus. We got about 20 kids that uh, we know well on this bus. Supposedly they were jumping on cars earlier, but. Uh, Oh, there's some, there's some more. There's, there's hey, hey. Some. hey, 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 hey! Oh, they're watching. They're, they want to get on the next. They better get to the next corner. Better get to the bus stop. What's going on? Bus will be here bus shortly. Bus is on the way. Bus will be here shortly. Well, it's good they know us, huh? Indeed. To know us is to like us. <laughs> Until you break the law, that is. Hey, 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 let's be nice. Huh? You got a radio? Be nice, be nice. Bring a radio. Yep. We're gonna We're gonna be out there talking to these young folks. I ride the bus once a year just to experience it. Yes, it goes downtown eventually. Pat, let's run. Hey, where's that bus going, you know? Downtown? Oh, yeah. Pat, let's... Pat, we got work to do. Four dead in Minneapolis. Last point, go again. Eight twenty. Uh, it's just FYI. The bus that brought some of these miscreants is out of downtown. <laughs> miscreants. So, uh, I love I'm that word. The downtown people. Yeah, that does not sound good in Minneapolis. Copy. How many parties are we talking about? Three, two, thirty-four. There's a whole bus. I don't know. 1934. Stand by. Well, transit's gonna follow. We just followed. We're pretty sure. You know, I used to ride this bus once in a while just to stay in touch with the community. And, uh,. I can't remember if it goes down arcade or pain. For some reason, I think pain. Can you see the bus up there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it is, it is pain. I'm pretty sure it's pain. Mike Kilo 662. Yeah. But I'm actually a little surprised that they're all, all these kids are in the bus. Well, but you know what, Pat? They're not stealing a car. Huh? Very true. Right? Very true. Right. Bonus. 
And actually, obviously, they were very friendly. Yes, they were. In a strange way. <laughs> In a kind of a backhanded way. Yeah. Ah, they appreciate us. We, I mean, I think, Pat, you and I probably know these kids as well as any other yeah, officer. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm not as good. I'm not as good as the younger cat team guys, I gotta say. Oh, they, Miller's they're... the best. Joe Miller. Recognizing the faces, you know? Yeah. I think that was one of the one of the one of the brothers there. I won't say the names because they're juveniles. When will Mountain Dew make a cap that's attached? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Losers. So the original call was those kids were jumping in cars. And then she said that she heard. Uh, a loud boom showing the sheriff with a firework or a gunshot, which says you can't. It came from the North Lake Thomas area. Obviously, the bus is a little behind so schedule. Two four zero for two seven three. Where are you headed? Yes, yeah, we are. Alive, yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going tonight? We're going to the crib. We're going home now. No, oh, yeah. you're not going home already, are you? Yeah, we're, we're going, going home. home. Uncle Phil. That's good to know. Good to know. Good hey, Bob. Bob. How you doing? Hey, how are you doing, buddy? Bob, you didn't do me like that the other day. Yeah, you did not, yourself Bob. like Bob, that. I didn't do nothing. What I do? <laughs> Bob. Bob. Hey, Bob. You ain't got no gift card, bro. Yeah, I do. I got one for you. Can I get one, too? Let me see. Can I get one, too? God, you look a lot like your dad. You ain't know my dad. Why I take my phone? I, I know I know your dad very well. Tell him my My mom I. said she was she, she tried to contact you to see if uh, we can get it back. Get what back? My back phone. in the day. What's his name? Y'all got my phone. Same as you. The one with the black and white case. Devon, Well, did she call me? Devon. Hey guys, stay out of trouble, okay? Me too. You're the only officer I like. Well, thank you, Pat. You're the only officer oh, well, I like. thank you. Can I get a gift card? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, tell those girls up. Send that two girls up here, my buddies. Can I get one? Tell us what? Hey, girl, come here. Over here. Can I get one? Didn't I tell y'all he got gift cards? Hey, Bob. Come here. You, you come over here. Right here. There you go. That's our last one. Target. Target. That's my last one. Thank you. Bob. 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 Is y'all live? Yeah, we're live. Y'all right live? Yeah. Hey, y'all. It's Andy. Say hi. Hey. Post this. You got a different one it's, for the It's live. I got a gift card in it. Bitch, who is that? It's 20 movie today. I don't have any more. Hey, you back to two. Huh? Uh, Did you get one already? Tell him, tell him, Pat said hi. Hey, you guys. We're, we're glad we're proud of you for riding the bus and not stealing cars. Yeah. Absolutely. That's good. Y'all don't steal cars, y'all. Good advice. I'm losing hey, my voice. Where, where's but, yeah. the rest of the crew going? Downtown? We're going to a house. No, but down where? Oh, yeah. oh, don't be telling no. me where we're going to get Come <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, I know some of you don't like us giving gift cards to kids, but honestly, it helps us build a relationship. Did you hear him say, you're the, they're the only cops I like, right? Yep. A little bit of help and kindness. Yeah, so it's Where's that shot fired in there, Phil? They don't have a lot of resources at this age. No. Yeah, I'm going to start with two guys right. all 1966 Nebraska Avenue. You know, shot fired one car reporting, four shots heard. All the lights on Northern Payne are out because people stealing the copper. That's correct. It's unbelievable. Real to a copy. Yep. So I know you guys. You backseaters are stealing, see, watching people steal too, and it's got to be frustrating for you. There's a lot of smoke here. Huh? That isn't just the smoke from Canada, though. There's some other smoke in here. Something's burning. All right. So last week, this is this is like three days in, out of five days. Here's what happens to me. Three out of five days. I go to Fratalone's Hardware on Rice Street. Up there on Rice in Little Canada. All right, 
I don't even remember. I'm going to get a, a sprinkler because I got some spots on my lawn that need to get uh, more stuff. And I'm getting a sprinkler. And by the way, sprinklers are expensive. Good ones, though. A lot more expensive. So I grabbed the sprinkler. Well, actually, I asked the I asked the employee where are the sprinklers. He said, opposite corner. I go back, and all of a sudden, I hear him yelling, Hey! Hey! I said, yes. Yes, sir. And he said, not you. I see him chasing and a guy out the door. The door with a weed whacker. And I had seen the guy back in that part of the store. And, and funny, funny, I had seen him actually, um, I had actually seen him earlier in the parking lot get out of this old gray Tahoe or Utah. Okay. So there was three people in the truck at the time, and I saw him get out of there. And now, but he runs and he's running past the truck over into the neighborhood. So I said, I tried to stop the car, and the clerk said, "Bystander said he just heard and saw a firework go off in the same time, the shots Probably fireworks on Nebraska. Anyhow, he says, "Not them. It's the guy across the street running with the weed whacker." Okay. So I get in my car and I go over there and get on the air and I mean he's running with a weed whacker into people's backyards. Okay? <laughs> the weed whacker. I said, well this guy can't be that hard to catch, right? So I call for squads, Roseville assists, and we set up a perimeter and Ashley Sparks spots him and arrests him and one of our other part timers, oh no full timers, but Jorgensen finds the weed whacker in the back behind behind a shed. So, but in the meantime, when I'm when I'm looking for him originally, I see that truck drive around, and I get that on the air, the truck, and so the, they stop the truck going south on Rice Street. All right, the guy and the girl that I had seen there. There's a weed whacker in a box in the truck too. There's a weed whacker that he was carrying. There's another weed whacker in the in the, in the truck in a box. But we don't know where that came from, so we just recover it. So, a dedicated weed whacker bandit. That's bandits, bandits. The woman in there's got a felony theft warrant. The woman's in the car. Oh, shocking. Shocking. Thank you. And uh, so we recover the weed whacker. So then the next day, the management looks at the video. Well, she went in first and stole the weed whacker in the box. Really? Yeah. And then he came in and stole the weed whacker that was hanging on there. So, okay, so that's my story for that. So the next day, my wife asked me to take her to Walgreens. Now we're at Walgreens in Arden Hills. And I'm on my phone, she wanted to run in there. And all of a sudden, she's running out the door. Bob, Bob! What the hell was two, two people went out there ahead of her? She said, they stole stuff, they stole stuff. Ah. Jeez. It's two women, and basically my wife's now standing in front of their car with her hand out yelling, stop! Oh, no. And I said, Chris, get out of the way. She could have got run over. Mm -hmm. I said, I got it. So they didn't stop right away. They fled for about a block. And the bottom line, another well-known thief that we know, Prudence is her first name. The bottom line is, uh, I, we stopped them and made them take everything back in and return it. They had a four, they had like a four-year-old boy with them, Jesus. teaching them how to steal. Okay, so that's my Walgreens story from our notes. Suffice it to say, prudence is not very prudent. No. So then the next day, she says, "Hey, will you give me, will you give me a ride to Walgreens again? Different Walgreens, okay?" No. No. Yes. She's in there and she calls me on the phone and says, hey, the guy walking out the door just stuffed his pants full of stuff. Ah. You see, this is an epidemic of stealing. Yeah. So I confronted him, made him take the stuff back. I mean, but the problem is unless people get some real consequences, they're There's just no, going to... no incentive to stop. They're going to keep stealing. we got to figure out a way to stop people. And, you know, let's face it, the poor Walgreens on Randolph and Snelling, they take cartloads out of oh, it's insane over there it's terrible that's terrible eventually they walgreens will end up closing yep so 
That's all I know. That's my theft story. We gotta do something. But the moral of the story is don't, don't drive your daughter they have a restraining order against Don't drive your wife to Walgreens. What do you think? Yeah, really. Yeah. You think he's yelling at the other guy? Probably, I mean, obviously they're probably impatient, but then... It, you're not finding anybody out here. Can you try to do another call back and see where this comes at? Last three or 093. Well, we got a Colorado plate and a Wisconsin plate. 36, right? Monk and Eddie. Happy. You know what's going on here, don't you? <laughs> I can't wait to hear. Well, I mean, obviously the Colorado guy is poking on some marijuana because it's from Colorado. Three eighty. Three eighty. Report Eastern Gangs. Well, I think we better go down to the bus stop now. That's where we were heading. We're gonna see what hit what. What's going on at the bus stop? Because that is the same bus stop where the Kia Soul was that got shot at yesterday. Those are buffering. We haven't seen, we haven't seen any on our end, right? We had a little bit. A little bit, but not much. Where were we at? I, uh, I can't even remember. I got to get out in the daytime sometime to my friends at White Bear Rental. Yeah, you were talking about that. Yeah, that was they, they do an amazing job. Haney Rental, too, though, you know, I'll tell you, Dave Haney is awesome. Yeah, both of those, both of those companies, White Bear Rental. Dan out there and then Dave at, at Haney Rental on White Bear Avenue. They both do a great job. Mm -hmm. But I, I've been out there. Are they busy? People are just. They're, they're having parties. They're doing lawn work. I don't know. Lots going on. What, two to three? Two to three. Clear GOA, two seven eight. Two to three. And two to three, I can start for the 911. Copy in the area of 37 in the Cayuga ramp. We could get flushed up there. Uh, huh. Well, that's interesting. There was a possible suicide there earlier at 35E in Cayuga. I don't know what happened on that end of that call, but now there's a 911 hang up there at 35E in Cayuga. It's the hopping intersection today. What else did we have? Oh, we posted it. Oh, by the way, if you're not following the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office official page, please do because they post stuff different than us and they also post it. We did get an update ping uh, at 2217 hours. Uh, it was within. 488 meters of 943 Briar Street. Copy. Sorry about that. Sometimes 
stuff gets drawn to our attention here. Well, I think I went through the red light, but I got to give him credit. It's very deceiving. I think I yeah, want to go is. through to because there's no intersection here. Rarely have I seen this light red, to be honest with you. Copy both arrests. If ever. So we are downtown St. Paul. We are just we were talking earlier about uh, stuff going on in Minneapolis Three. there. We believe there was some type of incident involving death, right? Right. We're not sure exactly what. There were shots fired, but there was an accident. GUA 537, and be on traffic when you're ready. So one thing I'm concerned about, Pat, is Jackson and Ninth, Minnesota, Kilo Romeo Sierra nine zero nine. Jackson and Ninth, three sixty one. Are we? It. Uh, Doesn't take that any other traffic stop until they're before. Three twelve. You can send me three miles. Seven of them. That's from me from a back yeah, seat. Yeah. Yeah, so. The squad to back 1737 Fremont Avenue on a suspicious vehicle in front of the address. Do, are you concerned that Black Chrysler, Minnesota Plate, Transit Julia, might have had different Bravo, information than we did? Sure Seven sounds like it. You know, the way they were, the way they were in a hurry. I mean, not that we, we might be in a hurry, but it just, it looked like Transit had more information than we did. Yeah, definitely. Kids would be coming downtown. That's the thing. Don't jump! Don't jump! We don't want you to hurt yourself. Can we have a little humor or not? That's about a two and a half foot jump. You might sprain. You might sprain your angle. Where are we going? Nothing to do. I don't know. Nothing to do? No. It's just a summer nice day out today. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, it's too bad there isn't a place you guys could hang, you know? I'm, I'm all out. I gave them up on pain. The last group got off on pain. You ain't got any? Sorry. Well, we, gave, we had 10, 12 of them, but we didn't expect to run into you guys in groups. So when the next time? I don't know. You're, I would like to help you out. I want a gift card, bro. Well, we ain't got none. That's a problem. So when the next time y'all gonna have? Some? Well, next Friday, but we might have some tonight. But we get. I don't know. We over here asking for gift cards and shit. It's all dependent upon the people who watch us donating for you. For you guys. Yeah, I got nothing. No. Sorry. What are you guys gonna? What are you gonna do? We gonna go home. Go home. I want to go check plan. that bus out. Don't get hit by a car, guys. Okay. Watch Peace. Out. Watch out. This is art. This is what you call artwork. How's it going, buddy? This is art. That was a piece of art. That was theater. How's it going? Hey guys. We're all out tonight. We handed them all out. Hey Bob, come here. Let me ask you something, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. You got a new board game? You got a gift card? Yeah, <laughs> just for fun. We're all out of gift cards. Oh, you got a gift card? Yeah. We're all hey, out. Hey, your car rolls here. Yeah. Huh? Wow. What would you do if I smoked this car, Dan? Oh, you're alive. Why would you want to do oh, that? Oh, you're alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're alive. Watch out. Don't get hit by a bus. Oh. 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 That's what you call community oh. outreach, oh. Pat. Oh. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. You called a Kia yet today? Kia? Yeah. No, people are stealing Audis now. Audis. Oh, they stole Audis. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, we caught an Audi. Oh, we caught an Audi, Audi, caught an Audi today and a Jeep yesterday. But listen, oh, seriously. A Jeep. I know who they talking about. Get y'all dumbass. Y'all know shit. Yeah. 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 They talking about them they from real water. Don't steal cars. Really. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Who this is? Pat. That's my partner, Pat. Hey, Bob. Y'all know y'all can't keep coming. Hey, Jamie, I shoot you now. You know, you know what happened? You know what happened tonight? What? What happened? Tell, what happened? tell him to come over. Come here. He come here. Come here. You know what happened tonight in Minneapolis? What? Somebody, somebody was driving crazy in a car. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Killed four people. Oh, uh, we don't know nothing he, about he that killed, officer. He killed four people, four innocent people. Young kids out at this hour. Young kids having fun. Fuck what about. Don't use the F word. We don't approve. We don't use the F word or the N word. Friday night he on live. Yep, that's it. That's it. I know it's a little schedule. Look at y'all on live. They look dumb as fuck. Watch out for buses. How many people are watching right now, Pat? Hey, Bob, let me ask you something. Oh, like, Yo, Take my number no, mine down. doesn't say. What? Well, I think you got to go. What are you talking about? You on Snapchat? Right, we lit. We lit, man. We lit. Yeah, you're right. 2,100 people. All right, we got 2,000 people watching. That's... Hey, gang, this your new car? Yeah. What would you do if I smoke y'all ass in this thing? What, what, what would you be driving to smoke this thing? Hey, I'm gonna smoke y'all ass in the Sportage Nightfall game. But, oh, watch out, gang. You, sport, hey, you know what? Play video games, but don't steal cars. The car hey, belongs I'm gonna steal to somebody. The car. Nah, no, you're not. Oh, yeah, this is this a Ringo. All I need is a program, bro. Game. Bro, game. Man, we outside. We grew on the cell. That nigga was trying to steal cars. Don't car. use the air. Don't use the air. word is bad. On top. Don't use the air. Hey, Bob. Yeah. I'll take your car. You know that, right? What is, why are you on that, game? Why game? would you do that? What, Let me tell you something. Hey, peace, Scott. Hey, listen. Listen. Let me touch. Hey, peace you, out. Let me hold your flashlight. You can oh, be a better you person. Can see it. All right, let me see. No, no, don't hold it. Hey, we're going. We got to go to a call. Oh, we got to go chase. Hop we off. Go chase. We got to call. We got to call, guys. All right. No, we got to go to a call. For he real. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, welcome to uh, downtown St. Paul bus stop. Yeah. Not confirmed, but just got a message that there are five now. Five dead, dead in Minneapolis? Yep. And possibly they did catch That's the driver. The poor guy that was on the bus before. You know, it's, it's, there's always one kid, usually the younger one, that thinks he needs to prove himself. Yeah. Talk about stealing cars. They're, they're, for the most part, everybody else, the girls were actually good. Good. Take a left and pull up next to me. We are going to check in with Under Sheriff Mike Martin. Mighty Mike. Mighty Mike. Mighty Mike. Mighty Mike. Oh, for crying out loud, Mike. Where'd you get those from the office? Woody always hands them to me, and I don't give them all like you guys do. around during the day, mostly. I don't know. Some of those kids deserve them. Some of them don't. Mighty Mike just gave us another okay. batch of gift cards. I, I like those girls are nice, but the, some of those that little kid, that little nine-year-old, that kid looks like he's about nine, huh? We we did have a nine-year-old stealing cars the other day, though. Remember? Yeah. That was a. That's the latest. We, we went from 12, 11. Now we skipped ten. Now we're down to nine. Request a phone call from officers if possible. 
You gonna go find out more info? Sure, I called to try to find out, and it's there. You don't know if they got shot. They couldn't have died in a car accident, could they? Well, All five? I think the four, it sounds like. Four sounds like one, two, five. Vehicle. No. What well, was the car fleeing, or was it just driving reckless? Driving reckless. Shot supposedly pa passed a trooper. Flat. Were they rammed the car and then it fled, and it sounds like they were chasing it, but I don't know. But you think maybe they were shooting before this, before the accident? Yeah. All right. Well, that'd be that'll be if that if they're all innocents, that's as bad as it gets. That is that. Well, I'm sure it'll be, all be on social media, Pat. You checking that out? Because all right, uh, we gotta get out of the way. A bus is gonna come. Thanks for working tonight. See you, sir. But to clear one thing is clear. We need we need a place for kids to go, right, Pat? Definitely. To do something constructive. I'd even staff it. I, would, I wouldn't mind sitting and talking and BSing with these kids at a at a youth center. I mean, we end up talking to them on a street anyhow. Why not get them into some constructive... It's tough to have a constructive conversation in the car like this, but we definitely could. We definitely could. If we had a location here. We are downtown St. Paul. We have Harding and Johnson had their graduations the other night down here. No problems at all. Only one in Central had a little problem a couple days earlier, but. Across the East Shore at 2302. One of those young ladies apologized for how she behaved one time when we arrested her. Right, Charles. That's always Delta, nice. Delta, yeah. Delta, Delta, Delta. Gives you hope that maybe you're getting through a little bit. Yeah, yeah I mean, most of, the, most, of the, most of the girls we deal with have yeah. some, some sense of right and wrong. Advised. Asian male, no, no, uh, vehicle violation. Must have been going down 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 people walking down Kellogg here. Yeah. I got rid of a table on Craigslist today. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I, I, I probably was should have sold it for money, but you know, it's... Sometimes it's not worth it. And uh, the guy that picked it up, he had a truck full of stuff. He goes around just grabbing all free stuff. Hmm. And then he probably retools it, sells it, or whatever. Sure. But, uh, I mean, there's some people out there making an industry of that. Reverend Spence says he was talking to an eight-year-old in Frogtown who has three stolen cars to his credit. Oh, Jesus. She's a little drunk. What do we go for? Go for Good to let people know that it's 
somebody's down here making sure they're safe. What's the state traffic? I think the county bought this What's building. Right? What's the state traffic? They're in Dale. What's the Delta? Oh, no, 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 no. Fox Rod 147. Jesus. There you go. Well, here we go. Once you say, what do we actually do? The 656 Lafond. We're going to be in a park now. Let's clean this window up. It is smoky dusty out here. 20 grips. Donna Felvey passed away today. Donna Felvey, longtime deputy with the sheriff's office, did an amazing job. She's a great example of the kind of deputy we've been looking for. Very sad five year battle with cancer. Oh boy. That cancer, I don't know if she had that. Eesh. What kind she had, but that cancer can. Triple negative or. Five years is about the most you can stretch it out to. It's very sad. To Donna's family. And she was an amazing deputy. We loved having her working. She's been retired for a while. You want me to go down there? Yeah, to 26 East Exchange, please. Yeah, I've never heard anything. Anything but wonderful things about her. Seventh Avenue. Copy what direction? Point fair. We're gonna try six. They're going north on Seventh Avenue. I can try it. It looked like three times. That must be Seventh Avenue. Copy north on North Street. Put this one on here. Clear advice over the cattle to Let's go see if North St. Paul needs our help. Happy. Red Not pursuing, following, continuing north on 7th Avenue. Maybe it's White Bear. Happy not pursuing, continuing north on 7th Avenue. Well, let's go no, there. It's just legitimate stolen. Get the material. Second Street. Clear. Happy turning northbound on the second street. That's a stolen, That's a stolen black, black, black Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yeah, I'm trying to get up here. Always held on. We're right. Stick with it long enough for us to get there. Disregard. They're on North St. Paul Drive. North St. Paul Drive. Copy. Continuing on North St. Paul Drive. Well, let's go see if we can help out. Moving out to 7th Avenue, but the road's closed. Oops. Occupied five times. Oh, no, I'm coming over. Copy, vehicle is occupied five times. Going back on North St. Paul Drive. Going south, west. Correction, northwest. Northwest. Copy, going northwest. I don't know, I'm tempted to get off on Larkin. North St. Paul Drive. I don't know how it's going to go if, they're, if they come back for the city, which they almost always do. Going the wrong way on North St. Paul Drive. You know this area. Going the wrong way on North St. Paul Drive. Well, I, I just think they're going to eventually come back to the city, but I can get there faster on 36 where he's at than there, but 
Vaping rough. Clear red. I smell smoke. Yeah, it's from Canada. <laughs> it's definitely from Canada. 100%. Still north. At County Road D is coming into White Bear then. Okay. 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 County Road S is approaching. Well, they're going to hit a dead end there. Just keep going that way. Is going west yep. on County Road E. Westbound County, e. County Road E. Well, coming right into the street. Direction eastbound. Ah. Eastbound County Road Echo. Is it good? Clear. Doesn't look good. Clear. Update. saw him last for sure. Confirmed last, last location it was seen, please. Go this way. 
What's this? What's this? Well, that's, oh, that's a pickup truck. Yeah. It says dead end. Don't you think he had to come back out here? Yeah. Oh, he says the rear side of the door. If you're fleeing, you could just keep going this one, right? You'd think. What's this? Hold on. Oh, God, I'm not going to stay in front of him. Yep. Huh. Squad? Yeah. Squad. <laughs> One of ours, we have a vehicle that's relatively hot at 107 Leeds Place. We just went past the uh, It's a darker vehicle, some kind of SUV. Our confidence is low, but 107 Leeds Place. We just passed Leeds when we were driving around. Do you think he's talking about us? No. He said it's parked. Oh. Wait, <laughs> can you just spell that phonetically for me? Trooper 8, I'm coming in the air here. Coming 1251. Can you leave me in? Confidence is low. Straight ahead. I'm for my seat here. Keep coming down Leeds Street. All right, get slower and stop to your right. That vehicle's pretty hot on the uh, easternmost vehicle. We're going to keep going to Chatham Road. Oh, he said you were Oh. So. And go hard left. Okay. And Leeds Place is one tenth of a mile. Killarney. There's a lot of Irish people out here. Two this is not going to be our vehicle. Thanks for checking. All right, well. But this is where he went. Just a game of a few minutes. Yep. Oh, he's not going to bail out here, though. minutes. Just, just another minute to the... We didn't get the old Wildwood turn either. Uh, that was, hey, firm, that was the last main location. If they found their way through, they could have got all the way back to Hilton and on to 36. So we're going to be checking the area of Robert Street Court. Okay, I'll get back on Hilton and I'll get Well, well, well. What year was that? 2011. Black. Trip right to ground units. We do have another vehicle to check. The wheels are on fire on this one at 218 Kind Rose Road. 218 Kind Rose Road. Is there any numbers of coalescence? We're going to find that here. Give me one sec. Yeah. I can't remember the time that it, anything got dumped out here. 218 Kind of Ross Road. Unless there was a King, backup. Ida, there. Nora, David, Richard, Ocean, Sam, Sam. Two rocks, one of my right now. Nick is out there. 
This says take a right on Long Lake. Yeah, this is going to be your vehicle. Oh, okay, I feel the plate confirmation. She said is or is it? Is. Yeah, like cool. Zero one six parked in the driveway. Two one eight Pine Ross unoccupied. Confirm the correct vehicle and uh, vehicle is unoccupied. I think if we do a U turn, this is going to correct itself. Yeah. So we want to go check it out. Sure, if there's anyone you see, no one around here. It's weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Are we getting that search now? A uh, neighbor just pointed northwest of here, so there's a couple kids running away from it. Oh, well, good. There's five in total. So we were in the right spot Let's somewhere. in the large apartment complex. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, a neighbor confirmed five occupants. Said they went north, and then once they got to Stillwater, they split up halfway. Oh, so they're actually close. They're close up by... A the regular well, smart they took the back roads to ditch the car and then they ran the out to the main street if you're just joining us uh, North North St. Paul tried to stop a stolen car. It fled on them. Per policy, they couldn't pursue, but they could rapidly follow. And so Here. they followed it. Left North St. Paul, went to White Bear, went to. Can I get a name? North St. Paul squad to the. Matamidi. Location. 26 will be in row. Work. How's it going, people? Why don't we all take a knee? Take a knee. Take a knee. There's a dog right around the corner. You know who I am. Just take a knee. 2755. Take out a knee. With five. Get our location you off the MDT. Well, uh, take a knee. Take it. Just take a fucking oh. knee. All right? Yes, sir. We'll just go, we'll just go nice and easy. Hey, listen, listen. How about yeah. good? Okay, we're just gonna work through this. All right, you know the game. You know how it's played. The driver's gonna be responsible. Whoever that driver is. I don't know if the driver's one of you guys or the driver's the other guy that ran off, all right? So, just... Who is driving? Tell me the truth, you're going to get a break. I just got from, I just got back from the whole car. Mr. Bob, come on, bro. I heard about you. I heard about you. Mr. Bob, I heard you. Good man. I am a good man. I heard, I heard you. Where would you guys come from? I just got to the Where is it at? What is the address? I don't know. I'm going to send the copy of this in progress. Yes, please. I'm going to get on my back. There's the thing. You just followed a stolen car out here. That's why we're here. All right. What's the address of the party? Is it in your phone? All right. They just came from a party. We're going to have to go check the party out.
got an Uber from St. Paul. We have the right suspects, just so you know. We have uh, an admission from one of them and a good description on good description on the driver as well, so all is well. So we have uh, North St. Paul began this chase. They fled, followed it. White Bear saw it. Washington County's here out in numbers, as well as cat, cat team member Chad Mueller there, Kit and Nicole. I'm just gonna turn this. I don't know how old these kids are, so I'm just gonna turn it a little bit. There. So we are looking for one more party that apparently ran into the woods. So they're searching for the fifth party. But outside of that, just a good way we're here. Good we checked out this side road. <laughs> That's the, the amazing thing is we just drove by these this road. Scrape had to be two minutes beforehand. They weren't there. They must have walked out of the woods from here. Got a good contingent of uh, 
Washington County here. Headed up by Sheriff Dan Starry, great guy. It's a nice job as Sheriff. The border there is a uh, century or division, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, Biggest fear is that you're when you're detaining four suspects, one or two of them is going to run. That's why you have to make sure you you know you got backup ready. It, one kid threw a screwdriver. I thought he was reaching for a gun, but he had a screwdriver in his pants. He threw it back behind him. We were waiting for North St. Paul to figure out what they want to do with all four. And they're searching for a fifth one. So... The driver's been identified by one of the passengers, also by one of the North St. Paul guys. If you're a wife or a family member of the Washington County Sheriff's deputy, you can call them and tell them they did a great job. I don't know, I don't think they know they're live on patrol. But you could ring him up right now and just tell him, hey, I see you live on patrol. That one suspect refused to get on the ground, and of course, as you know, when that happens, I have to bring out the dad voice. But you got four you people. The two of them on the two of them on their knees. The other two not on their knees. And it's a lot easier to run when you're not on your knees. Fortunately, they probably didn't know their way around up here. Thanks, Nick. Are you ready, Pat? Yes, sir. Pat just loves this stuff. So I want to know how you figured out where we were, or didn't you? I didn't. I said, I said, check our MDT for where we are. Really? <laughs> Holy mackerel! <laughs> I, I thought that was pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm not. I'm good. I ain't that good. <laughs> Gentlemen, Washington County, thank you. Appreciate everything, all your help. Tell your sheriff I said hi. if we can get out. We might be stuck. We might be stuck. Well, you know, it's funny. We just drove down this street like two minutes before we turned around. They weren't on there. Mm -mm. So they must have they just popped, popped, out of the woods. popped out of the woods. Bad luck for them, huh? <laughs> Bad luck. Well, it's because we knew our way around. <laughs> Not me. I, I pulled over because I saw a squad coming behind me yeah. to follow them. Yeah. And so then I start following them, and yeah. then they pull over and start following me. It was one of our deputies. Jeez. Well, you know, I had no idea how everybody got here so fast because I was dealing with the 
suspects, but Pat wisely told them, check our MDT. <laughs> he did, and they gave an exact <laughs> They gave an exact address, address but I, was, oh, I heard it on the radio, and I'm thinking, God how the hell? Dispatcher. Yeah, thank you, dispatchers, for figuring that out. Because <laughs> I was thinking, how the hell do they know where that is exactly? <laughs> so thanks to our dispatchers. Yeah, I'm going to give her a little thank you right here. Twenty-seven fifty-five and twenty-four hundred. We're going to be clear from the scene and dispatcher. Thank you for figuring out where we were. You are very welcome. Thank you uh, for all your hard work. I'll show you clear at twenty-three forty-one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thirty-nine twelve. Okay, now you should answer. Can you tell us how to get out of here? Now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't copy that last, but uh, we're so going for here, drop the patch, cancel the 10-1, and think for Washco, the Sheriff's Office, and Trooper 8, and anybody else who showed up to help out, appreciate it all out. Well, we got the driver. Yep. Ramsey County clear of LTAC 1 at 2341. Looks like maybe... Oh, that, oh he turned his lights on. I imagine they had that screwdriver so they could find another car to take. Yeah, chip away. Chip away. Yeah, I thought when I saw him grab that in his waistband, I thought, oh, fuck, it's a gun. Oh, part of my language. But that was what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I saw him throw it before I got too concerned. But I could tell it was a bigger object. And then he pretended it was his... Uh... He's yours. But we got lots of keys up here, Pat. This is, that's the other car. Well, that's satisfying, isn't it? And what, like I was telling the viewers, one of the uh, passengers confessed yep. to what was happening. So that's always helpful. Yes, indeed. It just, it just, it, this is a trend here that's troublesome to me. And that is we're stopping auto thieves when we stop them, they say, come on, Bob, I heard you're a good guy. Huh. That doesn't mean you can steal cars. No, 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 no. You you still go to jail. <laughs> I, I, we'll be nice about it. Yeah. We're not going to be mean to you, but you're going to jail. Yeah. And yes, we are nice guys. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Well, you stole the car for crying out loud. You just threw a screwdriver Jeez. into the weeds. <laughs> And the one guy matched the description. So, I don't know. Maybe clear GOA. So, this is the county line right here 120. Century Division. 3783 over Kev 10F. Copy. Well, I got to tell you one thing. You got to thank the trooper for spotting a car with fires, wheels on fire. No kidding. Can you thank him on LTEC before he gets away? Because that's how we got there. The trooper found that they found a heat signature of a car where the wheels were on fire. That's what he said. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, there we do it. Like a, you might not even be on it. It was LTEC 1, right? Or was yeah. it 2? Yeah. Trooper 8 or what number was it? I think it was Trooper 8. Caller is going to be at 26 10th Street. Trooper in the sky is still on LTEC. Going for Trooper 8 on LTEC. Okay. Yeah, just amazing work. You're always amazing, but to find a car that had hot wheels on fire to lead us to the car and the suspects, it's amazing. Couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you as well. Couldn't do it without you. Thanks. That. Yeah, there, I mean, he wasn't even following the car. He was, but he spotted a car with hot with wheels. We call it the Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Five three seven. Five three seven. Five three nine. Reportedly, I used a swear word. Tactical swearing. Tactical swearing. Wow, you know how many times you got to tell that kid to get on the get his on the knees. How we get my 2345? While he's throwing it. 
reaching for an object. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Never a good idea. Have a great night, Andrew. Be five. In the old days, in the olden days, remember we used to match tool marks? Yep. For doors being pried or things. Take the, our crime lab would take a tool and they would use it on the similar material and they would match the, the way the tool left the mark. Indeed. What time is it? 11.46. Well, just... Yeah, they didn't think about it, but if they need help transporting people, will you check with them before you go? Yeah, I'll make sure that I don't leave them hanging here. If they need more help, let me know. I'll come back. I should have thought of that sooner. Gonna take as long as we're right out here by the Marcus Theater. Yeah, they were thought they were good. Gonna take a little drive by Marcus Theater. Just because there's always a large number of people here on Friday nights. You know what's happened at theaters in the past. The spot to back 316 Larpenter Avenue East, under the floor we three people trying to break into the apartment. Come for a female saying stop, almost getting a 911 hangout from a different number. You think they were, maybe they just wanted <laughs> us to catch them, Pat. What do you think? That could, could be. That could be. Okay. 3-80. Cayuga, template 0155-3830. let people know the police are around. I don't know if my front lights work. Wait there, please so. Black letter. Two hundred. Three advice. Two two three. Turn my two black lights on. Then. Copy twenty three forty eight. By the way, this is where I usually see movies. You know. Yeah. Take a quick look around, see if anybody's lurking in the cars. Hmm. <coughs> Internal security in here. Do they? Yeah. How's it going? Just waiting for somebody here. Very good, very good. Have a good day. Usually it's the cars that are parked way away from the. Mm -hmm. Is there a apartment number related to this number? Marcus, just to deters any crime, people breaking yeah. into cars. Nobody wants their car broken into. Blackmail. Why are you in a movie? Right? Seven where right. a, That's that would be a bad end to a night. Locked, initial wearing a blue colored t-shirt. An additional sound hearing five to six people arguing for the past few minutes. We've never seen. Not a big crowd here, isn't it? but there's only the movies don't start as late as they used to, no. No. Three six one. 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 Three six one.
Queen's going to be in the middle of golf, Mike, at goal 102. It's pulling to the parking lot of Marco Station. Can you mute that for one minute? harassment call, is there a name and apartment number associated with this for the address where they're at? Well, it turned out it was good we were there, huh? Yeah. Oh. Name is going to be Jennifer Frisbee, apartment 606. Now we know uh, a little bit, we know a few streets in Matamita. There you go. So, channel one, I got channel three. Two, channel three, I got the suburbs over here. Scanner pages that the state confirmed at 10:19 p.m. that there are five deceased in that crash. It's horrible. Oh my God. We got to figure out what what precipitated it. Where exactly was it? You know, was it, was it Dunwoody? Is it's that? by Dunwoody, by like by the Guthrie. Guthrie, yeah. Okay. But I just wonder if it was. Um, down on the freeway or on Lindale or I don't know. So somebody in our backseat. Uh, it's 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 in the one of the pages. I look when I get a chance here. Yeah. It's a domestic assault. It's like Road and Aaron Court, but Henry Henry Zebra for you. The child's father assaulted the woman. Black in her eyes. Left in an unknown vehicle. Oh, yeah. County Reserve available. They can swing over here and do a transport. 2435. Copy. He's going to be at Forest Trail in Lincoln Town Avenue. <laughs> Copy. They did apprehend a possible suspect. Where was the shooting? There's a lot unclear yeah. about that. Because there was a shot, was shots fired. There was supposedly shots were heard fired after he bailed out of the vehicle. Don't know if it was connected at all. Oh, okay. Hi, Dietrich. I'm not getting any response at the uh, entrance to the apartment. Could you try to uh, call back to the comms and see if they can come let me in? Says just off 35W, but that Well, it could be. I mean, 35W weaves over there Copy. before it goes south. 
I, I don't like this intersection. If you live in Maplewood, you know that this English intersection, a lot of blind spots, you really gotta, well, I mean, it forces you to just be extra cautious when you inch out there. I don't know all that excitement, Pat's made me hungry, but I don't know if there's anything. Clear advice must. We're at the holiday here in English in 36. Just tempting myself to see if. <laughs> Actually, though, I'm going to put a little gas in. Oh, yeah, let's put some gas in, Pat. We are on E. Looks like a couple Maplewood guys over there. Well, keep our back seaters informed here while I get some gas. So here, yeah, it appears it was near 35W and Lake Street. Maybe the accident was at one, and then the car fled before the guy bailed. Oh boy! Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta mute this. I get text that said he was apprehended. The suspect was apprehended at Taco Bell on Lake Street. Yeah, I'm going to do some shout outs. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 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 Thirty first of anyone? 
So you got to give me a couple seconds here, folks. Got to get back to the beginning of these here. Rise, if I pronounce that correctly, Sweet Made English. Watches from London every Friday night. Thank you. Prayers to you, Craig Marsh, and to your wife who is fighting for her life in a New Zealand hospital. You are definitely in our prayers. Taylor Kathleen, thanks for watching from Canada. Caitlin Green. Wants a shout out to her grandma in Highland Park. Uh, hey, grandma. Two four two one one traffic. Two four two guys. Lee Smith lost Nearly his son on May 29th in the to fentanyl fentanyl laced marijuana. So it even marijuana is being yeah. laced with it. The last uh, couple years. So, uh, be careful, please. Chris Coleman turned 22 on June 1st from Michelle and John in Ortonville. Lucas Schroeder, June 3rd from Stacy Lynn. Christian Ellis, June 2nd, that's from Chip. Jeff Peterson, June 2nd, with love from your wife, Tracy. Kelly Dorn, June 4th. And became a first-time grandma in May. Grandpa Dan turned 62. From granddaughter Amber Lombardo. Yeah, we're a long ways from that, folks. Happy birthday, Ellen Weirs. Greatly misses and wants to wish her grandson in Denver a happy birthday from June 3rd. Tori O'Neill lost her brother and her mother Teresa lost her son last week. You're all in our prayers. Benson, Arizona, police officer Troy lost his life. Condolences from backseater Jeanette Legal and from us. Melody turned 13 on June 10th from Peyton Smith. Barb Sinks, a former 911 dispatcher. Happy birthday, June 10th, from Ann McGuire Kane. Kelly Martin, happy birthday on June 12th, from Mom and Dad. Tom Corey turned 70 years old Friday, yesterday. Cassandra Spears, having her birthday this coming Sunday, from your young daughter who borrowed your phone. <laughs> Well, happy birthday, Cassandra. Happy, happy birthday to Lydia Springer of Spartanburg, South Carolina, turned 34 on June 11th. With love from your fiancé, John Pepper. Happy. I talk to John Pepper through Facebook Messenger periodically. So congratulations and happy birthday. Forty-four thirty-one. Your status. Oh, our buddy Mark Cermak and his wife are watching from Krakow, Poland. Krakow, Poland. And then they're going on to the Czech Republic. Parking lot of 
180 County Road B2 with a white Nissan Sentra, no tag or temp. No one's currently fighting him. Everyone here is saying there is no gun. Still trying to find the caller. Copy, no one's currently fighting. Still working on finding the caller. Okay, I got a, got a message here that the, the vehicle that killed the five people fled from the state patrol, but there was never a pursuit. No lights, no sirens. He blew the intersection at uh, apparently uh, at the Lake Street exit off at 35W. What's your mom's name? T-boned Stephanie. a vehicle. Stephanie Hickney, hold on, Pat, hold on, hold on. We got a special request. Young man's in a parking lot. He said his mom is watching. Stephanie Heckney was her birthday, what, yesterday? Yesterday. yesterday? Stephanie Heckney? Yeah, yeah, and your uh, son. What's your name? Joe. Joel is here at the holiday, Steph, and wishing you a happy, happy birthday. And we're wishing you a happy birthday as well. Happy birthday, and Stephanie. Your son says he might want to go into law enforcement. She knows. <laughs> yeah, send, it, send, it, send me an email. I can get you a, a ride along with Twenty three. You get on table for the caller. Nice to meet you. Nice have you ever seen they walked out for? Have a good one. Milford, but no one ever saw her. Copy. Sorry to interrupt you there. The young man was kind enough to. Stop us and try to get his mom a happy birthday. Very nice. Two Maplewood officers in there are very kind. Boy, I'll tell you, that smoke is burning my throat. They didn't throat. update much as far as notes go, but they didn't clear it free. Well, you should have some tolerance. Maybe you don't have tolerance because you were the smoker. I, on the other hand, have tolerance because that was well, a second hand smoke. <laughs> I can send a message to you with that name. Copy. 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 I got the caller saying that they're on someone's porch. I mean, the PC were kind of address. I got some shelled pistachios. Aha. Uh -huh. John, if you can get a location lead, I'll talk to her. 113K summer. I don't have to do the work. One of our backseaters, Jack Hall, his mom, Jennifer, is a new Ramsey County dispatcher. Copy, thank you. So, shout out to you, Jennifer, and thank you for uh, coming on board. That's cool. Okay. Can you just grab them and bring them over to where the car is at? Is that the deal out there? Are you saying the location person's unfounded? What is your location with her? We can probably bring them over to you. Joshua Williams turns 28 on Sunday. Regular backseater of ours. Well, have a happy birthday, Josh. I think it was Joe Royden or Joe Ross, wherever the vehicle is. Two, one, eight, nine, hey Jed, did you copy that they got three more they think at the dugout that might be related? Well, names I think you should give them a hand too because that's gonna be that's gonna put them over their limit, you know. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Alright, bye. Our backseater Elsie Taylor wants to give a shout out to her granddaughter. Cora Eidsness, she turned 14 when we began our shift on Friday. So happy birthday to you.
this is from our friend Buzzy Bone. She's asking for a public service announcement to ask everyone to please pay attention when driving and especially to look out for motorcyclists. It was 19 years ago, today now, that her husband Pat was hit by an inattentive driver in an SUV while he was riding his motorcycle eight blocks from their house. And he was wearing his helmet. His injuries were so severe he never regained consciousness. Patrick, taking the safe with you, Buzzy. 19th anniversary. Week on Manton Street. Apparently, some bounty hunters hit the wrong house. Oh, not good. No. Let's see if you can peek in this car. Make sure it's not them. How you doing? Good. Everything okay? All right. In Rice Street on a dirt Kia Soul with no plates driving. Here we go. Coming erratically. Can you check on the channel? If there's any uh, Somali officers uh, speaking, Somali speaking officer working tonight? Eastbound Maryland from Rice two minutes ago. Dark Kia Soul. Checking channel two for a Somali speaking officer to assist in one. Now you yeah, know our friend Lynn you, Murray Sungard and her mother Lee Murray, yep. who we see at just about every event. Yep. But today now, Saturday, is her mom, Lee Murray's 97th birthday. That is special. And that lady is a special lady. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Wonderful, wonderful lady. Happy birthday to you, Lee. I wouldn't want to miss that one. You are, you are truly very special to us. <laughs> Clear traffic order cut in Marsh and downtown B 200. I gotta mute this real quick. Yep. Someone just texted us, reminded us that Chris Parsons passed away. An amazing firefighter with the St. Paul Fire Department and a, and a labor leader inside the fire department. And I had a lot of contact with him over the years, both in the political world, too. Chris just a great guy, and I'm not sure what the cause was, but... I know he had been struggling a little bit, but I, uh, I'm sure we'll find out more. But so our condolences to his friends and family and all firefighters listening to Chris's passing. Absolutely. Chris was also a 
board member of the School for Leadership for Public Service. And oh, was, was no. helping the school network into other labor organizations. Still, a dark Kia Soul. Ah, oh, my buddy Steve Hall with corrections. He and his wife Caitlin's daughter Irish, Iris, is two years old today. Man, it's hard to believe. When we started this, the baby wasn't even born. Unreal. So happy birthday to you, Iris. Your mom and dad love you very, very much. there but not a call maybe he cleared it right away Okay, gray Kia Forte stolen from 755 North Pryor at Blackstack Brewing Company. It's a 2020 Kia Forte, gray in color, plate number EKJ424. Echo Kilo Juliet 424. Broken glass on the ground left behind. So they broke, broke out a window 
chip the column and stole it. looking over her shoulder as if she was nervous. Everything okay? Yeah. 9663. Took my shit and walked away. So. Sorry. You sure you're okay? Did she say her ex or what? Not happy, but she obviously doesn't want our help. No, she doesn't. We'd be happy to. Maybe they should make all cars just only go maximum 60 miles an hour. That's like the maximum. Yeah, right. And then, except for police cars. <laughs> Because you know there's people who would figure out a way to defeat it. Gentlemen, have a good night. Huh? You're alive, yeah. You're alive? Yeah, I'm alive. You're alive? And we're alive. Have a good one. Take care. See ya. I gotta go in there, Pat. What the hell is going on there? I you see the crowd. A lot of good there? tacos. Holy mackerel, there's a line in there. I think they're open till 2 a.m. I'll be out with the cops. Park you in a pen. Taco Bell, beware. The curb. Los Ocampo, but I mean, it is packed in there. Must be some good tacos. Oh my goodness gracious. Two more three. He says, and then it's my location. She's having breathing complications. Wait, I, hit as as I mean, like a small piece of metal? Have to turn back Oops. That guy wants to leave now. Maybe, maybe we should take his spot. Morning, Go ahead and leave, buddy. We're going to zoom in your spot. Holy smokes, you have bright headlights. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Oh, smokes. I love this car. Oh, I got, I got a backup camera, too, though. Check that out. Mm -hmm. How long ago has been in existence? <laughs> okay, we're going to give a little advertisement here. Well, there's another name there, Takira? Takaria, that means Taca. that means a taco house. Oh, does it? Yeah. It's Loso Campo Takaria. Dave Colonel says this is open till 4 o'clock. 4 a.m. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Look at all the people in there. Yeah, that's a crazy thing. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now this is my kind of talk. That's really be good. What's everybody else doing there? They're sitting there and must be on their phones or something, huh? On their phones, waiting for their you know, food. We can eat an all night food. restaurant here. Perkins used to be available, Embers. Mm -hmm. We got nothing open this late. It's too bad.
Yeah, we just got a text from a friend of Chris that he was, uh, he ran a marathon, huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness. He had a, apparently had a heart attack. I don't know if it was right after the marathon, but related to running the marathon. It might have been at work when he had the heart attack. Yeah. He's a big, giant, healthy looking guy, so that's the thing that's weird about it. Who's crying here? Do we know? Did you tell where that sound was coming from? Nope. Cute. Are you okay, ma'am? You sure? Well, you sound a little unhappy. All right. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. It's good to express yourself. Hello. How are you? Ken Lehman. Ken, how are you? Hi there. Good to see you. I met you a long time ago. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Back uh, Tom Conlon. Oh, yeah. Campaign for school board back yep. in 1999, I believe. Really? That long ago. Yeah. We came all the way up from Faribault just to meet you guys in person because we watch every Friday night. Right now? Wow. Today? Yep. Oh, for crying out loud. My goodness. Thank you. Well, yep. sorry that we're just Appreciate you. I'm grab, grab Yep, I know you too. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We uh, appreciate the work you guys do Control with your Control prevention, Control. intervention, and apprehension. Yep. And you got you guys do amazing work catching these stolens uh -huh. and preventing them from getting away. I don't mind being on the air, by the way. Well, you're, I, yeah, you are. So yeah, we don't mind. We love having people on the air that want to. And uh, we count. have kids that still live in St. Paul. We used to live up in St. Paul, of course. Okay. And uh, we got kids that live on East Seventh. Okay. Up in. Uh, uh, Where's your wife? You're right here. Hey, how are you? You're born and raised East Sider. I'm a born and raised East Sider. Well, nice to meet you. Nice East Side meet. Pride. East Side Pride. East Side Pride. What street were you on when you? I lived on all over on the East Side. All over. I was born at the when my mom and dad had had me. I was born at the old St. John's Hospital. Okay. All right. I remember that. Yep. And they lived in the White Bear at the time, but then my mom. They moved out this way, and so I was born and raised out here. Yeah. What street? I'm, what street did you guys live on usually out here? Well, we, we lived on White Bear Avenue. Yep. Um, Hay Hazel Street. I mean, I lived all over. When you when you met Tom Conlon, <coughs> where were you living then? I we weren't together back then. Oh. But I've known i known him since my oldest daughter was ten. We were friends for decades. We just uh, yeah. got together. What year? 2019. 19? Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. So all these years. Yeah. Well, we're really kind of you. You're in Fairbolt now? Yeah. I moved down there. I hope there was something else to drive up for besides us two losers. Oh, we have kids <laughs> up here. <laughs> Good. My, I've got two, that, well, my middle daughter lives on 7th Street. Oh, she does. Bar she lives with Barb Lee, Sabrina Adams, and Roger Adams. Okay. Roger's her boyfriend. Okay. Hello, you guys, if you're watching. <laughs> Tanji Sue, if you can hear me, I'm, I made it up here. <laughs> He's so, another fan of uh, Live on Patrol. Oh, and, oh. and then my middle daughter um, lives in Shoreview. Okay. That's my good. oldest is in Penrose, so I spent eight months up in Rozo, Minnesota. Rozo. The border. How'd she end up up there? She moved up there. Well, what would bring you up to Rozo? Hockey? No, my oldest daughter lives, moved up there. She had met somebody and moved up. Yeah. They moved up there. And yeah. So I had half my family move, end up moving in with me. And I'm like, you know what? You guys put in your application anywhere. I'm going. Because <laughs> I can only make one, only make one trip with you all. So. She was living up in Rolzo when we decided to get back together. Yeah, okay. so I'd make you. I'm in Fairbell, she's in Rolzo. Am I blocking that car from getting out or can he get out? Uh, okay. Can you? I, move you I can move. Oh, no, no, no. Take it. Let me just take a look, okay? Hey, Kenny. Kenny might be blocking. Yeah, you're fine. He can get around you. If I'm not, you just give me a ticket, right? Yeah, uh, we don't get too many tickets. <laughs> we gotta go to court.
Yeah, then I have to come all the way up here to up here, right? Yeah. Well, nice to meet you guys. You got a cell phone or anything? I got, you? I'm Jennifer Erickson. Um, yeah. Well, my phone sucked up to the oh. live on patrol. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, she's the co-pilot. Yeah. I do the, so I, I focus on the driving. She just does the navigation. She wanted to be a bad because she wasn't able to go home until you were well, able to get in touch I, with you. I appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, we're going to roll back on some calls. Nice yep. to meet you. I'm Jennifer Erickson, by the yeah, way. Nice you. you don't go by Layman? We're not married. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I've asked him, but you know. It's... Well, Erickson's a good Scandinavian name with Layman. German? No? Yeah. Huh? Well, there you have it. Germans yeah, and Scandinavians are... get together. <laughs> Our kids are all out since so like, well, they. We have a note I don't know about French, Canadian, German, <laughs> Irish. I'm French Canadian too. My grandmother was Abatelier. My grandfather was Lapierre. Yeah, La Battaglia, French they Canadian. They changed it to Stone. Yeah. You know, they changed La Battaglia to Butler. <laughs> yeah. La Battaglia, you got to change to Butler. <laughs> All right, we got to run. Thanks for stopping. Appreciate it. Good to meet Appreciate you guys. It. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're behind you 100% with uh, all the blowback you get. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you. We someday we might call on your help. Call for your help. Good night, folks. Uh, I'm not too hard to find. All right. Hey, you guys are smiling now. Yeah. Yay! Have a good night. Curb. I don't think so. Oh, very, very good. Very good. We're gonna clear it. Nice. Nice. What's up? What's up? You know, there's more people watching us than we really have on this thing. You know that, right? Turn that up a little bit. We'll do it over there. Yeah, what do we got? I heard you something got about cat. northbound on something. Yeah. 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 These kids that were downtown probably still are looking for a way to get home. Waiting for their bus. What's happening? What's happening? Maybe I can get a car. We're, you know, we might have a gift card or two, you know. You we know. just Somebody just gave us some more. We might. How are you guys getting home? Uh, uh, we live around the curb. You live what? We live around the street. That's for uh, you? We live on the street? Well, that's not good. Where'd he go? You, want one? you don't want one? You don't want one? one yeah, yeah. Of course you one do. Yeah. You can't get much with $10 anymore, but God bless you guys. There you go. Yeah, Give one to your friend up there, will you? We got one for you too, brother. Want a McDonald's? Bravo Five Nine. Live on the streets. Yeah. Oh, Devon. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Live it on the streets. Ah, uh, something right about that. Right. Well, something right. Blackmail 510. What the hell's going on in Channel 1 there, Ben? 106054. 106054. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
still kind of curious what the, what the Larpenger and Flandreau call was, because that would be close to White Bear and... and uh, well, I will find out. I don't know how you're going to do that, Pat. I'm good. I'm really good. I don't good. think we're that smart, are we? I'm that smart. So we can research so that location, I pull it up, find out what am. happened. Find out if it wasn't. Be sleeping. Larp returned Flandro at 18 minutes after midnight. Backseaters, Pat isn't actually on the computer, he's just making this up as he goes. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, here's the details. Debris in the road. That's it? That was the dangerous condition. Page 196, clear to 8. 37 minutes. Page 210. Livingston, Mark and I don't know, hang up. It's gonna be a Spanish speaking caller, possibly sounding like the male was either robbed or assaulted while he was riding a bike or playing with the line. My eyes are burning, Bob. Really? Yeah. Well, we won't stay up much longer. We got them surrounded. Definitely a little slower now. Hey, you know, um, the one thing I would, the one takeaway I'd like is that everyone notices, it, unless you have a dedicated group of officers, highly trained, highly skilled, that it can go after these auto thieves. Your, the smaller departments have a huge disadvantage. That's why the sheriff's office helps on these things. And we get we get money from the state of Minnesota from the Department of Commerce to finance the CAT team. And uh, excited to say that they just notified us that we're going to get some additional funds. Wow, that's wonderful for the next year. And excited about that. But you can't really expect these smaller departments to corral or vit or pursue by themselves. Wow. You need to have you need to have us. Or any so department. As of right now, all we've got is all suspects were on skateboards. Still working up there. But the thing that makes the CAT team special, really, is the level of training and experience. Copy. These guys now have, 
have had so many different experiences that eliminates a lot of the guesswork. Of course, they got the man, the myth, the legend, Pat Scott, working with them. <laughs> I'll tell you, I learn. I learn probably more from them than they do from me. Well, that's, that's very that's modest. A, that's an but amazing it's, bunch. It's a it's a two way street. Yeah. Everybody learning from everybody. You never stop learning on this job, and you can't. I don't think it's just you know. I don't know what the deal is with the smoke, but it smells like smoke. But it's not just the fires. It's got to be something else, doesn't it? Nope. I believe it is. Seven is going to be Robert and Curtis. Entirely the Boundary Waters and Canadian fires. Copy, Robert and Curtis. And look how thick it was the other day in the air. That siren is for. I can't imagine it being for the. I'll just sit here a minute in case I hear something on the state patrol frequency. I'm sure Mark Suki's monitoring. If something's going on, he'll let us know. Two months out, there might be a time delay here. Victim said it might have happened about 15 minutes ago but there's a language barrier so if we can get a spanish speaking officer here it'd be nice possible time delay about 15 minutes ago we'll be
sorry about that, back seaters. We just had some private information we needed to discuss. It's a quarter to one in the saintly city of St. Paul. And you're by now, you're probably finding out more about what happened in Minneapolis, which sounds like a terrible tragedy. But whatever the cause was, when four or five people die. I don't know, Pat, is there any more info on that? Uh, nothing official. Other than uh, he flew by a trooper at an excessive rate of speed. There was never a pursuit. After the, or before, before the, before the accident. There was never, excuse me, northbound on Robert. Hang on a second here, we got something going on. Northbound on Robert. I think that's the suspects from the rock. Bicycle the skateboard. or the skateboards? Well, we're going to pursue skateboards. Woo! 260. 260. I just talked with the comp. It looks like there is possibly three black males. First black male is going to be wearing a blue shirt, red backpack. Second male uh, is wearing all green, and the third male is wearing black and white with a white backpack. Also, the comp is very DK, uh, and he keeps giving me a different description. We are in the midst of a lot of smoke. Copy you. Mostly three black males, one wearing a blue shirt. How are you doing? Nice shirt, nice shirt. Like that shirt. Was that a king shirt or uh, Latin kings or disciples or what is it? Got some, it's only f three crowns. I like it. I like it. I like the crowns though. It's because you're a king. That's all I am. There you go. That's all I can be. How y'all doing? I'm just a prince. No, y'all kings and y'all on jungle. But I'm you know a fresh goes. prince. I know how it goes. Y'all kings and y'all on jungle. How y'all night like going? Good. Not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Yeah. Except this damn smoke in the it's air. Quiet tonight. Well, it's it's average. But it, it so usually... You one quiet in Minneapolis. No. Did you hear about that? Man, I was just over there, man. That shit's ridiculous. What happened, Five you know? people dead. I don't know, man. Shit, I was on the highway. I seen this. Cause, cause, cause. As long as y'all keeping it safe, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're, all fucks with we're a lot safer over here. Huh? It's a lot safer in St. Paul. Oh, yeah. You're better off coming over here to oh, yeah. party. Y'all cool as shit. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I get that. Y'all cool as shit. All right. If y'all want cool, I wouldn't be standing right here. Well, it's because like, we're old. That's the difference. The old guys are cooler. See, I'm old too, shit. Yeah. I'm 43, uh, shit. Uh, well. I'll be 44. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of us ain't making to see that shit. Well, Pat yeah, and I are only like 39. Huh? We're only 39. <laughs> shit, I'm trying to be this, that this, this, <laughs> See what this job does to us? We're only 39 and we look like this? Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck. Who's? I'm 43 and I look like this and y'all 39 and y'all look like that. You look, what the fuck? You're looking good. You're Who looking says good. this job is stressful? <laughs> Every job we do is stressful out here. Ain't that Just right. trying to take care of these kids is stressful and keep them out of this bullshit. Man. Hey man, you got kids of your own? Man, I got eight of them. Little yeah. Wow. Get it's tough. It's tough raising them. It's so hard raising them right now and this shit, it don't make no sense. You know how that shit goes. Yep. They, they so highly influenced by their friends and somebody else shit, then it's some other shit. Because this motherfucker got to be drunk if he don't see y'all flashing lights. What? Some got to be wrong with this motherfucker behind y'all if y'all see the Yeah, we'll get out of his way. Some people think the police shouldn't block the street. Hey, fuck them. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> hey, have a good night. You too. Part about this job is talking to people. Isn't it? Yep. Twenty four thirty eight Margaret Street. The holiday there by thirty six. Mail with no clothes on, throwing stuff away, throwing stuff around. In the women's bathroom. In the women's bathroom. Well, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, if there's a little blurriness of the picture, folks, yeah, it's definitely the, black male, uh, the smoke. And when there's a car coming toward us, 
that's when it's the worst because the, the smoke lights up in the air. There was a saw, you know, my parents were born in the 30s, 1930. And of course, when I was a young boy, in the 50s, record players were cool. Right. And, and we had records of songs from the late 40s and early 50s. And of course, you had 78 records with the bigger ones, and the smaller ones with a bigger hole were 45s. You remember right. all that, right? But um, there was some great music back in the 40s and 50s, of course, before rock and roll hit the scene. Before Elvis was around. Mm -hmm. But there was a song called Smoke It's In Your Eyes. I don't know if you remember it. But sure do. Smoke It's In Your Eyes. And I was just thinking about tonight, you know, that the smoke gets in your eyes. It reminded me of that song. Yes, so, it does. I just, who would have thought they had smoke from Canada back in 1947? <laughs> Somebody should tell us on the comments who sang that, who wrote that song. Smoke gets in your eyes. Back then, of course. Well, that's the wrong tune, but. Well, that, that, was, they, that was, yeah, smoke, <laughs> Strangers of the Night. I think it's by the same guy. Strangers, smoke gets in your eyes. Strangers of the and Night. And makes them water. <laughs> smoke gets in your <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I might have to look that song up and get the ball of lyrics. <laughs> Strangers of the Night was like a 60s song. So we're going way back. The platters. That was the smoke gets in your eyes? Yep. Oh. Thanks, Saw. One five one traffic. And Buzzy, Buzzy Bone. Thank you. Holland Dallas. Jeep. Gray. No plates. I'll be able to. Where's that? Holland okay, Bellows. Up to it, 54 minutes. Holland Bellows. A gray Jeep. I think friends of those four we caught decided they'd better stay in after seeing that. Thank you. 
Going. Hey, I am finally clear of North St. Paul. We're, we, he's got room. He's got plenty of room. Well, maybe we'll, we'll help him out. It's a clean truck. Me has driven, caught up in the fast living. Me has driven, caught up in the fast living. Always. Friday nights, Friday night live. Hey, whose motorcycle is that? I'm Robert. No, no, the white one, the white one, the truck, the tri. Who's is that? Is that tri one yours? Happy Cold War holidays. Anyone looked like a gangster, didn't he? Oh, he looked like a very hardcore gangster. Yeah. And surprise, surprise, Enterprise Leasing. Yeah, he's out of his place here. Yeah, he's not, he's not a St. Paul guy. No. Case number 106073. 106-073. He's trying to win you over with his AirPod? Is he winning you? Oh, come on. We're the ops? No, we're not the ops. We're the newts. We're the, the newts. We're not trying to catch you doing anything. I ain't doing nothing for you to catch Well, we're not trying to catch you. <laughs> we're trying. We're just trying to keep you safe. I'm always safe. I always gonna keep myself safe. You make me feel great. Well, is that? Do you want it on or not? Do you want it on? We all know you live on Facebook. We ain't fucking with you. Oh, goodness. That was interesting. Yeah. He said, we're not effing with you. We know your life, so we're not effing with you. <laughs> it's going to be a perfect tool for... Uh, there is a common father, denominator that people doing or something six, wrong six, or cheating on somebody six. don't want to be on yeah, camera. Seven, seven, like this guy. Seven, seven, got, a, got a girl. Seven, How's seven, everything? Good. Okay. We're good, thank you. So we gotta break down that fear. That fear of that fear of law enforcement. We need to break it down. Just keep breaking it, Pat. Break down the fear, break down the hostility. Well, most of the regulars that we know there have actually left when the bar closed. <laughs> it's just the irregulars hanging out. 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 Pat 
kind of owie today. It's okay. Good you had your location services on in your CAD, buddy. Mm, yes, indeed. Super I don't normally have mine on there. University of Park, Nissan Electric Fleet 1, Papa Fox Truck 270. Got the University of Park. 103. 276, take it back until he's go 4. Can you imagine smoke traveling hundreds and hundreds of miles? Somebody from Arizona said they're even getting it down there. I'll be on Western Superior from Blue Honda, no think. I think, uh, Blue Honda, no place. I think, uh... Copy Western Superior. 103. Seems the Canadians. Two one three. You had temporary Minnesota place zero two zero eight seven nine nine zero. For all the damages the smoke is caused. Like health coverage and stuff. Yeah, I like that idea. You know, either that or put the fire out. <laughs> Jacking. Where was that? Arden Hills. Um, oh, this last week. When, uh, yeah, but oh, well, wasn't that it was this week. Yeah, it was this week. I'm trying to think if I. And oh, then he broke into a house. Yeah, Linders posted that on the. Sh if you didn't, if, sure. if you don't follow the Rims County Sheriff's page, it's a Did great you? description of what happened there. And then. I'm going again guy driving on the, I'm going to post the squad car video at some point of, of the pit. I heard it was Negative. Sarah Nagoski that pitted the Yes, car. she did a great job. So, squad 210. We're going to post that one. Too, 210, so. go ahead. But it'll be posted on the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office no, official page. We might share it on ours, but stuff like that goes out on the official page. So I just Nathan from uh, Manitoba oh. said the fire crews are working around the clock in Ontario, Alberta, and British Columbia, and in Manitoba. Hmm. Yeah. 
270 to 224. Two, well, I suppose it's been dry up there like it has. You know, 140. Mm -hmm. Pulling for top of the 911, hang up. 435, 430, please. 106. I am Tony, man. I think he probably dipped into the residential streets here and I'm still looking for him. Okay, go for it. Uh, look for a guy, white top black man. Go for him. Oh, here it is. I don't know, sir. You said white top black man? Is that coming out of two? Yeah, for him. Or is there another? Copy that guy. I was not uh, our suspect then. Oh, jeez, it's coming out of this room. Copy you, Mr. Brown. St. Paul, Carter, Carter. Five to ten minutes. I think that's related to that robbery down there. This one? Yeah. The, the car to car. Okay. Not sure if how are you? Hey, how are you? Long time no see. Yeah, yeah, it has been. Yeah. Where are you working now? Oh, oh yeah? Good for you. Man, Proud of you. you're tougher than me. I couldn't do it. What's up? We got, we got yeah. running. Like, we got, there's a call that just came out. Right, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I'll hit you up, Dondre. Okay. Nice Take to see you again. Just, it just came out here. 302 to copy. 302. 303. 302, I copy. 273, go ahead. Third floor central, 183. Is it shots fired or okay. robbery or something? Just came up. Two one seven two. Six twenty two Beaumont. Robbery, please. Maybe at Ham Park, right there at Beaumont. And what is it though? Many ah uh, shots fired. Copy. One hundred nine. Somebody else says seventh and maple. Hey, there's the problem. Facing entrance door is probably sweet that's sweet all for sure though. Morning four ninety three, two eight. Two eight, and bring three two two eight. Then new an additional caller, fifth and base. They know they heard two say shot and then a male scream and nothing further. So where, where, oh where, where is it? Sweet Hollow, Beaumont, Minnehaha. Long distance away from each other. But oh, Sweet Hollow is kind of in the middle of the thing, right? Yeah. So we're going to have to drive into Sweet Hollow. And you guys have been in there once or twice with us before, but we're going to take you in the northern entrance. And then we're going to listen for shots. That squad's going to the southern entrance. But Clear. I don't know. I mean, we could go to the Beaumont house, but someone's probably going there. But toward Minnehaha. A lot of variables here without shots butter. Oh, that squad's going down. Right. Judging by where all the subsequent calls are coming in, it looks like it's going to be closer to 5th and 8th. 
fifth and Bates. We're in the forest of no return. This is like an Alice in We ain't scared. So we're gonna we're gonna roam through Sweet Hollow. Too far with us. Thought I heard a voice, but we got twelve radios on. It could have been any of them. <laughs> and then we'll come out the other end and head over to Fifth and Bates. Sweet Hollow. This is the home of immigrants from several different ethnicities. They had little shanties and wooden houses that they would move into down here. And when they got a job and they could afford to move into a regular home, they would move up above the, above the hill, so to speak. Very lucky. We're close for We're just doing fields. Field. Looks nice bike path for during the day though. If you ever on a nice bike ride, runs mm -hmm. up no, failing definitely. corridor. Okay. And an additional caller advised that they heard two to three vehicles speed eastbound from uh, Fourth Earl. So we entered up there prevalent pain. There are two paths. We're on the western okay. path. That path right there to the left is the eastern path. The western is definitely bigger and stronger. And then... Do you remember when you used to drive under a tunnel? Your parent, you'd make your parents honk the horn while you touch the ceiling? <laughs> you could do this with... Uh, sure do. Whoa. Do what's that? Oh, Maybe that's okay. a stolen car. You better run that what one. What in the world? Stolen Jaguar. FXC 030. Wait a minute, I think I hear somebody. I'm just gonna get us on camera for the sake of our back seaters. Hello? You're moving it? Six by six metro. Come on down, six yeah, you can't park down here. You don't have to be sorry, just... I'll be down Where down. are you? Having okay. a night, 114. Hi. How'd you get in here? You know you're not supposed to do that, right? Is there anybody with you or what? Okay, you stop for a minute to grab what? Are, are, are you homeless? Yeah. Did you hear any gunshots? Hey, Pat. Two and three. Two and three. Traffic clear 
some gift cards but you know the last thing she said huh we should be looking for real criminals <laughs> really yeah and, and and i told her actually we that's why we were down here because <laughs> because of the shots fired but she didn't have much tolerance for this i mean it is a jaguar probably worth 2000 What do you think? Well, then matches. But, uh... Let's tell her to leave. Yeah. Sympathetic to her plight, but yeah. All she had to do is be a little kinder and appreciative of the fact that there's not actually supposed to be any cars down here. Right? And this time of night, woman alone, down here, not the safest situation. You know, I know that car's a little older, but I could work with that car. Oh, yeah. There's something about the stately front of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Not a safe place for her to stay, anyhow. No. I've never actually seen a car down here. I never. I, it was like I've been down here. It was bizarre to see a car down. Here. Hundreds of times, I've never actually seen a car down here, except for squad cars, bicycles. So this is where we come out the other end there. Oh, the driver's side has a, yeah, has a, has a do black door. One 
Because you probably knew that. So it's... It can't be the smell of the smoke from Canada, can it? That's exactly what Holy it is, Bob. Holy mackerel, it can't be that strong. It's crazy. That is exactly what it is. It smells like a wood fire. It's exactly what it is. What are they burning <laughs> up there? <laughs> crazy. We got one cell phone L phones from Minnehaha. Now turning westbound, or sorry, eastbound. Eastbound, haha, from L phones. Coming your way. Coming your way. Light have it here, South Marion. From university, go north. Squad 223 investigate. Is that her? 223. Oh, that's right. Barrington Geranium, soul taking off on me. I haven't lit it up yet, but it's starting to blow a stop sign. Barrington and Geranium on a soul taking off. She's gonna come through this area over here. Just you can send me that. Shoot, Pat. We're going eastbound on Maryland. Well, maybe we better take the Possibly east. Possibly a little way in eastbound Maryland. What do you think? I don't know. Yeah. This, well, I, mean, I mean, this one's gone. This one's gone. It could be in this area. Clear. Speak up, speak up, speak up. 242 copy at Rice right Maryland Stationery. I'm going to put it out over to see if one of these squads Tell, tell her they're chasing one of them. Too. Completely. Tell, I, I just couldn't keep up with them. Tell. They're behind that soul at Rice in Maryland. 223. I didn't see the Kia go past. Bryson, Maryland, so probably duck back into the neighborhood here. Copy them, see a pass Rice, Maryland, possibly one of the neighborhoods. What color is it? Green or tan? Clear. Oh, if they could just chase them for like a minute, we would catch all of them. Yep. <laughs> 2771. 2771. Saw so visual that Romanian uh, stolen dark gray silver Audi Valley and Jackson. I don't have the plate handy, it's one that was. Stolen from St. Louis Park, supposed to be Demarius Clay, who's driving it just for squad info. They see it. I wouldn't even put the plate out if she. The Monarch one. Yeah, but 
Copy for Squad to Info Loss. Dark gray silver Audi stolen area of Valley and Jackson. Subi, can you send me the text that uh, Katie sent you yesterday with the plate? That's Monarch One. Or CH one. Squad. I'm not sure. There we go. What are we on? What are we on? Matilda. Huh? That's the squad. squad. Could be a key. Getting the sticks ready? Was he? 
<laughs> he said, yep. <laughs> Copy of the Swift Squad to assist for domestic 251 King Street on a verbal argument between caller and boyfriend. Cop is outside in a silver Dodge caravan. Two two four, you didn't clear this out. Looks like this is uh, related to Ramsey County and all this is two and three. Copy code four in the dark house on here you go. You know, if we went off there we'd find it right away. Thirty nine twelve. I thought that guy was smoking a pipe when he went by. I don't know if you saw him, but it reminded me of Hugh, Dave Huberty. Oh, yeah. Alright, and Washington County said that they, um, one of their firefighters witnessed a hit and run accident. The striking vehicle is now stopped in Oakdale by some deputies with Washington County. 30, or excuse me, 6048 Upper 51st Street, and they are requesting a North St. Paul squad to go out there. Huh. Well, North St. Paul's got its hands full tonight. Hmm. I think the smoke is getting worse. I'm not a weatherman or anything, but I would say the smoke is getting worse. Definitely, well, it's definitely getting back. worse. Notice it too, right? Oh man, did I know what I wanted to post the the fight video of the, of the fight here before we got here last week? Did oh you, yeah. Did you see Marie posted it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That, I was tempted to post it. There was some really Donnybrook fighting going on here between the women here at the boundary. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. I sent it to the owner. You know what he said? Wow. Uh, it was even worse inside. <laughs> oh, wow. Happy, one in custody. Are you called for? It's quite one year, Chief. Happy Saturday. You, it's Friday. It is Saturday. Yeah, huh? <laughs> How you doing? Flash copy. Mississippi River Boulevard in Marshall and an SIP was transferred from Minneapolis. Colors of friend. Suicidal. Digging that she's near a bridge on the St. Paul side of Marshall. Black female wearing a white bodysuit, blue jeans. <laughs> Somebody posted. I damn near dropped down to my knees when Bob gave that command. <laughs> well, he had two or three chances. I was telling him when you're out there, the hardest part is when you have four suspects and two decide to run. Mm -hmm. You know, fortunately for them, I don't think they knew where the hell they were going to end up. <laughs> really? Plus, you were right about the wink, wink canine right behind us. <laughs> One sixteen, if you can just notify Minneapolis. What do we notify Minneapolis about? The SIP. Not me. It was transferred in from them. <laughs> they transferred. They sent it to you guys. Well, the squad to assist for an alarm. 1990 Suburban at Family Dollar over in the rear sales motion. Well, to all you fathers out there, happy Father's Day on Sunday. 
Absolutely. So happy Father's Day to you, Bob. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you as well. 4337. I am also having getting a request for you to call data. So, also on uh, Monday, Sunday is Father's Day, and of course, Monday is Juneteenth. It's a federal holiday now and celebrated in Ramsey County as well, and commemorating the emancipation of the enslaved African Americans. Not always is it on a Monday, but it's June 19th, celebrated on the anniversary of the order issued by Major General Gordon Granger on June 19th, 1865, what's that again? proclaiming freedom for slaves Black in Texas. Black female wearing a white body suit blue jeans. This. I think we've all was Copy out. Yeah, was the last holdout. Copy out with the female. That, uh, had to be convinced by the Union okay. forces to free all the slaves. It hasn't been a national holiday for that long, but no. it's been celebrated here in St. Paul. Some great Juneteenth celebrations on Selby. I don't know if there is one this year, but we should find out. Maybe someone can tell us is there a Juneteenth celebration? it up for tonight and uh, if something happens before we get home we'll come back on live but we both Pat and I both have busy days tomorrow yes indeed so thank you for joining us yeah thanks for being with us folks enjoy your weekend to all the fathers out there, have a happy Father's Day. And uh, remember the meaning of the on Monday. So we will see you next time we're live. Have a good night, folks. Thank you. One thirteen. Our medics still needed on this call.